Hey, it's Scott Kubo. So we're at Tesla Autopilot version 2020.36. And now if you're stopped at a traffic light and the light turns green and you haven't started moving, uh, we get the green traffic light shot. And we need to enable this in the driving menu. Uh, actually, I think it's in, okay, I think it's in the autopilot menu. And here we go, green traffic light chime. So we turn that on. And let's check the info. It says a chime will play on when the traffic light you are waiting for turns green if you're waiting behind another car uh, the chime will play uh, when that car advances unless traffic aware cruise control or autopilot is on in which case uh, the car will uh, start moving as the car ahead of you starts moving anyways so this is something a lot of users have been asking for it's finally here so let's go try it out so here we are we're stopped at a red light we got a car in front of us the car behind us autopilot is not on And there it is, so pretty innocuous chime. I don't think there's any uh, visual indicator or warning or anything like that. So pretty neat, uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, so here we are again, stopped at a red light, and this time there's no car in front of us. Let's see how this works. Okay, so it actually chimes twice. I guess it keeps chiming if you don't start moving. And I don't know if you caught that, but this black sedan that was coming towards us on the left actually runs a red light. You gotta watch out for idiot drivers. So that's the nuance that Tesla's gonna have to train the system to track cars that are coming into your path uh, before telling you you should go on the green light. So I'm sure they'll do that. This feature is only available if you have FSD, which in the United States is a whopping $8,000. But that could totally be worth it when you consider all the other advanced autopilot features and everything that uh, comes with this in the future. You can definitely see over time that they would allow this green light feature to work on cars that don't have FSD. Um, I think you'd probably need a uh, Hardware 3. And Tesla started shipping all cars with Hardware 3.0 somewhere around uh, spring of uh, 2019. But you can tell if your car has Hardware 3.0 because uh, you should be able to visualize cones on the main screen visualization. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Um, if you're researching to buy a Tesla and you found this uh, video helpful, click on the link in the video description and you can get free supercharging for yourself and for me. As always, I enjoyed having you along for a drive. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool. Hope you have a really great day and see you in the next video.